Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to do simulation on surface texture silicon solar cell. So please subscribe my YouTube channel for more such videos. Let's start with the coding. So here I start with the Go Athena. Athena is a module for process simulation. So uh, I have defined the uh, messing for that in the below line. You can see here line X location spacing 0 0.05. And similarly for Y also I have defined the uh, messing for that. And it is almost same. This coding is almost same as the messing of the Go Atlas. Okay, and then I define the doping with the help of diffusion. You can see diffusion with orientation 100, silicon orientation 100, and the donor type is phosphorus with the concentration 1E14. Okay, so then I have doing the etching with uh, what is my required structure so for that I have done etching and you can see the my structure required structure which I have plotted here so this is my required structure for solar cell then after that uh, I have done the struct mirror right so that means the, the whatever the structure it is generated in the left will automatically replicate in the right portion with the help of this command so then I save that structure and what I have done is I recall the go atlas command in Dagwill again and then I recall the file with the mess in file equal to abc.str okay whatever the structure and messing is stored here it will recall with the help of mess in file equal to abc.str then I have defined the electrode uh, here at, at the top you can see here I will show you with the help of uh, this this is anode and this is a cathode you can see here both of them and and then I have defined the material silicon and its parameters like mu n 0 and mu p 0 and eg 300 band gap energy and carrier lifetime electron and holes and its supra file it is already present in the supra database so you can refer from that and then I have defined the beam okay and air mass spectrum as a 1.5 g x origin y origin and angle at which the light is coming is 90 degree and wavelength of start and wavelength of end and its sampling is also done here and also i have defined for all of the material as a carrier lifetime of 1e minus 6 and 1e minus 6 it is like depend on my reference paper so you can refer uh, from your own reference paper whatever there is you can use that one here and uh, then uh, output uh, a bell dot band con dot band and opt dot in it to uh, to extract the conduction band and valence band here and then i define the model statement con mov field mov srh augur and print then i define the method statement newton auton r then i define the contact of anode and its work function as a 5.1 then i define the cathode and then i have defined the uh, then i initialize the solve statement with the b1 equal to 0 0.001 for being it in a convergence mode so i have done like this uh, i have increased the b1 as a ram so you can see here 0 0.001 0 0.01 0 0.1 1 and then i define the lambda is starting with the 0 0.3 and uh, with the step of 0 0.01 it uh, at final one it becomes 1.0 uh, or you can say 1000 nanometer then I plot that file with the name of IB.log which I have generated over here and then I extract that file and generate the EQE here you can see that with the help of this file and then it generated here and then I save that structure and then I plot that structure right so this is the simulation part so if you feel any problem in with my coding you can uh, write in comment box and so this is my structure you can see here you can see anode you can see cathode and you can also see my messing here uh, you can see here the messing here the like you can see here that the messing is now depend on my structure right but whatever i have defined it is not in the air also you can see here so uh, with the help of athena we can define our own messing our own device like device type messing you can see here and here is a doping you can see here doping of that uh, with the one in 14 you can see here and this is all from uh, the structure file and uh, then I will show you EQE 
what I got. You can see here, uh, it is uh, maximum at uh, almost 0.8 and you can say 80%, almost it is reaching the 18% at the 0.4 or you can say 400 nanometer, it is reaching the peak. So this is all from my uh, simulation side and yeah, this is all from my simulation side. Thank you. Okay.